Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be doing another top five video. I feel like it's been a while since I did one of these and this video is going to be all about face powders. So let's just go ahead and get started. So let me just start off by saying that I do have oily skin, so I use face powders every single day, multiple times a day. I use them for touch-ups and I also use them to set the face after I'm done with makeup. Now typically I do use like two different powders. One that is a little bit lighter for my under eye area just to kind of brighten that area up and then one that is a skin tone or a translucent um, shade that all to set the whole face. So I do typically use two different powders. In this video I am going to be talking about a couple powders that are just for the face and then a couple that you can definitely use under the eyes as well. So the first one that I want to talk about is actually labeled a powder foundation. Now a powder foundation you can use on its own. Really you can use any powder on its own. But a powder foundation is typically meant to kind of just be your foundation and it's just in a powder form instead of a liquid or a cream type of formula. Now for me, I have a little bit of discoloration on my skin um, and I just for me, and because I have oily skin, I just kind of like to use a liquid foundation. That's just what I'm used to. Um, I know some people really do like powder foundations. I just... I don't know, I just have never been comfortable just using a powder foundation because I am oily. I just feel like it doesn't wear as long. Now I will use this one. This is the NYX Day Matte but Not Flat Powder Foundation to kind of set the whole face and give me some extra coverage. Because powders that are labeled powder foundation, they will have a little bit more coverage than just a normal face powder would. So I wear the shade Natural. And so it just looks like this, Let me not blind you guys, and then it does come with a sponge. This one is actually one that I need to throw out, so I'm going to go ahead and do that before I forget um, and replace it just because it does kind of get gross because this is the powder that I mainly use to touch up with throughout the day. The reason I do that with this powder is because it says stay matte but not flat. So sometimes really mattifying powders, they can make you look a little crepey, a little cakey, um, and this one doesn't do that at all. So I do like to set my entire face with this, but this is my dream powder for touch-ups throughout the day. Like I said, just because it really doesn't make you look cakey. You can pile this powder on and it won't do that. So I love this, and like I said, it is a powder foundation, so it does have a little bit more coverage, as you guys can see in the swatch. Um, but I love this. It's a very fine milled smooth powder and like I said you just can't screw this powder up. You can pile it on your face and you won't look like you have cake face. This next powder is like a super cheap powder at the drugstore but it is a cult classic especially if you watch YouTube videos you know that like everyone loves this powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte powder. Um, now this just says a long lasting pressed powder. I do have the shade Natural. They come in a couple different shades. They do have a translucent one but I like this one just because it does have a little bit of color to it. Now this one is not as smooth as the NYX one, but this is like about half the price. And as you can see, it's not a powder foundation, it's just a face powder. So it's not as like pigmented or doesn't offer as much coverage as the NYX one does. Um, this one I love just to set the face after I've done my makeup. I don't like it too much for touch-ups just because of the packaging. I feel like it makes it a little difficult, but it's not horrible. I definitely love this powder um, and it does keep me matte for a long time so I love to set my face with this at the beginning of the day because it will really keep me matte. The last pressed powder that I'm going to show you guys is actually relatively new to me. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. It does have salicylic acid in it though so if that is something that you do not like on your skin I would definitely skip out on this powder. I wear the shade um, Classic Ivory so it just comes like this and it opens up. You get a nice size mirror, you get a sponge, and then you also get the powder right here. This powder is so smooth. This is probably like the smoothest pressed powder I'm talking about. And again, this one isn't a powder foundation, so it doesn't offer a bunch of coverage. But what I love about this, especially if you have oily skin, salicylic acid actually kind of dries out the skin a little bit. So if you're oily, that's amazing because it will keep you matte a lot longer and it will kind of keep your oil at bay. Now if you're dry, you might not like this powder just because of that in it. It might make your skin a little bit too dry. 
I love to set my face with this at the beginning of the day and carrying it with me is so nice because it does come with a sponge and like the NYX one, I forgot to mention this, but they both have like a little, little holes down here, kind of like a little breather so that sponge doesn't get really gross just sitting in there. It does have air to kind of air it out. So I love this powder so much. I think it's beautiful and I just love the packaging. I think it works really well. Okay, so the last two powders are actually loose powders, and this first one is from e.l.f., and this is their HD finishing powder, and this, like I said, is a loose powder. I'm not going to get it everywhere. Yeah, so it comes like this, like powder is everywhere, and it comes with a sifter. Now, this does come with a sponge. I actually don't have that anymore. Um, not a sponge, more like a velour type puff kind of thing, but I actually don't have that anymore because it was super dirty. What I don't like is how messy this gets, but that's just loose powders in general. They're just gonna get very messy. That's just the nature of them. And this is a white powder. So what I would recommend, oh my gosh, there's powder everywhere, is not using this with flash photography because it will kind of have a little bit of a white cast. You could use a very light hand with it, um, but again, you are risking kind of a flashback in photos. But I love that powder. It is so finely milled and it leaves your skin so incredibly soft. But like I said, definitely use a light hand because it will kind of leave like a white ghost-like finish to the skin. I don't know what this is, but I keep doing it. Um, but this just leaves, like even my hands, now that I like had powder on them, my hands are so soft. It just leaves your skin feeling extremely soft and it makes you look very smooth. So I really do love that powder, but like I said, just use a light hand. And then the last powder is from Cody Airspun, and this is the Loose Face Powder. And I actually buy the one that says Translucent Extra Coverage because I'm all about coverage. I love full coverage foundations, full coverage powders. I'm all about that life. So again, this is a loose powder. Um, so it kind of gets a little messy, but it looks like this, and it has a sifter. Um, this one doesn't come with a sponge, though, so that's just something to be aware of. And this one does have a very strong scent. The e.l.f. one is completely unscented. The Cody Airspun has a pretty strong scent, but I love this for baking. Now, if you don't know what baking is, it is something that's been around forever, especially with, like, stage and drag queen type makeup. Um, basically, you kind of use a really like creamy concealer like I'm just going to demonstrate under the eyes and then um, you pack powder on and you kind of let that bake or cook and really those two the creamy um, concealer and the powder kind of mesh into one and then you dust off the extra powder and it leaves your like under eyes, it just leaves any part of your face that you do that looking very smooth and very clean and just, it really does look beautiful on the skin. And this is a great powder to do that with because it is translucent. Um, or I mean, it is a loose powder, but what I will say is that this is not as finely milled as the e.l.f. one. It does have a little bit of thickness to it, so I think for baking, it almost makes it a little bit better, um, just because it really can, like, get packed, if that's, what, if you know what I'm saying. Like, with the e.l.f. one, it can't really, like, build up very well. This one, you really can layer it on thick. So, again, just be careful because there is that chance of looking cakey if you kind of, use too much of this, but just to take a big fluffy brush and dusting it all over the face, it looks really pretty and it does keep you matte for a long time. Okay guys, so that is it for this top five video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!